The JLT One Day Cup is what it is called. So our first matches are going to be against the Queensland Bulls. We're the Victorian Bush Rangers. I'm the captain of the team and I've selected my team already. But we're not going to play that match in this episode. What we can do in this episode is have a bit of a look at my player. See where we're at. At the beginning. Sorry. at uh, In. Alright. Well that doesn't matter. So what we're going to do. We're going to have a bit of a look at our player. It's 2021. It's which basically means we would have started this in 2017, and we're five years in. Let's have a look at where we're at. So, our skills, uh, sitting at an average overall of 63, which isn't too terrible. A uh, bowling rating of zero, obviously. We're an opening batsman, we don't need to bowl. A uh, fielding rating of 42, which keeps us, I believe, pretty balanced. Uh, footwork 68, control 67, attacking 67, defending 57. We don't do a lot of defending, as regular viewers of the channel will know, but we are starting to build that up um, in the view of defending a bit more and playing a bit more professionally. Uh, the drive, hut, hook, glance, all sitting at 66. I like to use all four of those shots, I would say, equally, I think. Uh, the sweep, I haven't used ever. Well, actually, that's a lie. I have used it. I uh, very rarely actually connect with it. Uh, so something that I'm slowly building up along with my defending, with the view of using it eventually, uh, I believe it's quite useful like, up against the spinners. And as such, uh, it's something that I struggle with is against the spinners. Uh, once again, special shots is not something I try and meddle with. Uh, so it stays down low. The only reason I ever lift that up is to make my batting rating go up. Uh, so that's the reason for that. Uh, move along, bowling, I put on fives here, I had some skill points left at some point, put a few more on, look every now and then I'll come through here and go alright, I got some skill points left, I'll stick a couple on, yeah, bring them all up to six, whatever, I don't care about bowling, if I ever get a bowl it'll be hilarious. Uh, fielding, now there was one of the teams I played for, I believe it was my English County T20 team, uh, didn't have a wicket keeper so I put a whole bunch of points up on wicket keeping in the fielding stat. Uh, and then realised that the next match was not going to be played. Oh, well, not going to be played by me because I was brought back to Australia to play in something. I can't remember what it was. So uh, I never actually used the wicket keeping that I put those points there for. But I'm sitting here at an average of 42 uh, on the way to a 43. And uh, I only recently just put those two on in my last match. At the end of my last match, rather. So, yeah, just keeping my fielding rating about 20 below my batting seems to be working for me so those are my stats at the moment uh sorry my skills rather my selection status i'm a long way off the one day world championship that would be the one day world cup um so potentially we'll make that uh that will be in about six months time never know we'll see what happens uh t20 world cup i'm a fair way off that so closer to that than uh than the one day world cup I'm a fair way off the T20 Tri-Series between Australia, England and New Zealand. Uh, a long way off the Austra England Tour of Australia One Day Series. The Ashes are coming up. I'm a fair way off that. So getting closer to that, which is lovely. Because in real life, we are about three weeks away from Ashes, from Cricket 2019. So it'd be really nice to get to that. That would be amazing. Uh, the Australian Tour of South Africa... Fair way off that as well. Long way off the uh, tour of South Africa one day squad. Uh, Australia T20 of South Africa only T20, whatever that means. Maybe there's only one. I'm long way off. Uh, fair way off that. Still no chance for the IPL, which is a shame. I am the captain of my Sheffield Shield and a one day team. I'm no doubt going to be selected in the Australian T20 competition, which I will be playing in. Uh, elected not to play in the Bangladesh Super League. We'll probably once again play in the England County Cup or the T20 or end of the T20 competition. I will be playing in the New Zealand T20 competition. Hopefully that doesn't preclude me from the Australian T20. Uh, but then obviously these other forms of the game which I probably won't be participating in. I did do the Caribbean Cup in my last season through um, May continue on with that again I think for this time I'll concentrate on the New Zealand being my outlier random place and then focus on Australia and England for the uh, actual 
competition portion of my T20-ness. Uh, so that's where our selection sits at the moment. We'll have a look at the career statistics. We did have a quick look at this earlier, but we didn't go through it. Obviously, I haven't played any one-day international tests or T20 international matches, so all those are zero still. Uh, first class matches, that is uh, the longer form of the game. Have played 24 matches, participated in 48 innings, been not out six times, which is not bad. Um, one quarter of my matches I'll have a not out in, which I guess that's not too bad. It hasn't been many of the last few matches. We've clicked over 3,000 runs, our first time to 3,000 runs in any form of any match. Um, 3,079 runs, a high score of 213, which is not bad. Still not my personal best high score, but it is my high score in first class. Uh, an average of 73.3 is not too bad at all. I'm pretty pleased with that. A face 17, 31 balls, and a strike rate of 177. So a pretty good strike rate, a pretty high strike rate. One which I would like to bring down a bit. That would be nice, and we'll probably do that a little bit in uh, the Sheffield Shield. Uh, picked up 1100s and 1650s. So some, some really good figures there in the first class. In the T, in the list A, so in the short form of the game, the one day form of the game, uh, I played eight matches, only played eight innings, uh, but not out once, so not too bad. Uh, hit 620 runs, a high score of 170, and an average of 88. Now, I expect that number will come down. I have been not out once, so that'll skew that a little. Um, and that strike rate, I think, speaks more volumes about what my average should probably more look like. Um, when I say that, I mean it should probably come down a little bit from 88, probably closer to that 75 mark. But we don't know. We'll see what happens in the upcoming season. I have picked up a couple of hundreds. And uh, 350s in those eight innings. So of those eight innings, five of them ended up over 50 runs. That's not too bad at all. Uh, I've been caught once, which is interesting, I suppose, if you're into that. Uh, T20 form of the competition, uh, 32 matches played, 32 innings participated in. Only been not out once. Hit just over 1,000 runs, a high score of 123. Uh, the average is a bit abysmal though, 34.39. It's not fantastic, but the strike rate is really good up at 162. I mean, realistically, my strike rate for T20 should be higher than my first class strike rate, shouldn't it? But they set better fields for hitting big strike rates in first class, I find. In the T20, they put their field out and they stop your singles, um, stop your easy boundaries through gaps. So yeah, it makes it a bit trickier in the T20, I find. Uh, I've only hit the 100 once, which was obviously that time I got my high score of 123. Have done 850s though, so that's not too bad. Uh, it is not even the form of the game where I've hit my most sixes. However, if you look at, uh, even if you look at how many matches, it's an average of about a six a match. That would go the same for the first class, where I would go a six in innings, I suppose, on average. So, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, and obviously the other form of the mat, the game is the club level. Uh, back when I was playing for Mildura, doesn't happen anymore. I haven't played for Mildura for quite some time, so those stats haven't changed at all. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Stats are starting to look up. Uh, let's have a look at the Manhattan. My first car, first class long form of the game, Manhattan, has been dropping off quite a bit. The last, what would that be, seven or eight matches. Uh, went out for a duck there in one of them. A lot of under 25. So there's a couple of under 25s there. A couple just under 50. Uh, one just over 50. Oh, good 75 in there, which is good to see. And uh, two hundreds in the last sort of 10 matches. Not fantastic performances, but, but good performances, I suppose. Uh, looking at our shorter form of the game we haven't played many matches uh, only eight to be precise in our last one with our high score of 173 uh, which is very good to see out there uh, but yeah it'd be nice to see what happens this season with the list a looking at the t20 uh, we had, had a few good performances but you know the last four have all been under 50 um but then, you know, six matches ago was our high score again. So 
we're very up and down. Uh, the other form of the game was obviously our club career. Again, it's very up and down as well. A lot of blue in there, uh, a little bit of reddy sort of colours and not a lot of green and yellow. So, that's that. Um, let's have a look at statisticals for our competitions that we've been participating in. Oh, it doesn't give me anything. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, so that's a quick look at where we're at and where we've been. Uh, but that's all for this episode, guys. Just a quick little look at where we're at as a player and uh, what the situation is looking forward. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can catch me tomorrow. If you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell, you'll get a notification as well. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe. I will see you tomorrow. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see when we get Ashes, uh, sorry, Cricket 2019 in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Chairs Club. Oh.